Hey, it's Arrow, and this is Vocal Defrag. Vocal Defragging is asking the questions and questioning the answers. I actually defrag in two different places. In a journal, where I put my words on paper, and I can come back and study it at any time, any day, any year. And I also vocal defrag, which I find to be probably a lot more empowering. And the reason why is because on a page, you don't hear inflection, pitch, volume, tone. What about that great pause that comedians always talk about? Because on the opposite end of that is the reaction. So vocal defragging is very, very important to go back to those moments in your own personal life and journey to hear how it was being delivered as it was moving through you. This is vocal defrag. A very interesting subject today, and it deals with your past. I'm one of those people that has spent 29 years in a daily journal doing all I can to stay out of my past. Because we all have a past. We all have done things that we don't want to talk about, or we've done things that we found victory in, and we feel those were the better days. Man, I want to go back to the good old days. My mother said that all the time. I want to go back to the good old days. Well, here's the thing. Your past has already lived. You can't time travel, and I did some research on this. You can't time travel because the energy that would be required to send yourself back is impossible to find. There's no such thing. It's not been invented. So what do we do? We use our imaginations to take us back into a past. And we rewrite it and rewrite it and rewrite it. We accept it or we make it darker than what it really was. So something came to me while I was in my defrag written journal today. And that is what you write on a page in your now for a future reader. It's a lesson from your past that they can use today. See, that's not time traveling. That's not going back into your past. When I write in my journals, many times I'm guilty of saying, dear future reader, what would happen if we started thinking like that? What we're doing in our place of right now to a future person, be it yourself or someone else, what you are carrying forward in your right now is a lesson from your past. And so they grow. Learning how to live in the present comes with a lot of changes and challenges. Stephen Furtick of Elevation Church said, Life is muddy. Muddy, muddy, muddy. Marriage is muddy. From the mud comes a miracle. I don't want to sound all churchy and preachy on you here. But it makes you think about where you are in your present day and how you act and react in your present moment of now will have an effect on someone, including yourself, in the future. And you learn from that past lesson. Whew. Learning that lifestyle comes with chances and choices. And when we make choices, that means we're going to be challenged. And when we're challenged, we may not win. Then what do we do? Well, don't walk away from it. Because something that you're living in your now is going to help that future self. Learning to put yourself in a position of decision making based on your now. How will somebody act or react if I make this decision right now? If you've made a bad decision, there's going to be impact. Somewhere down the road, someone is going to have an impact from what you did in this moment of now. For instance, like when I'm not in the mood to be at the essential job and when I'm not in the mood, oh my God, you should hear the thunder in my soul. I'll give you a good example. Yesterday when I arrived at the essential job, not being in that moment of now, meaning I was probably stuck in my past and I wanted to hang out with my friends. It was a great looking day with sunshine. The temperature wasn't too hot. What I did was I pretty much took it out on somebody else. Not in an angry way, but they asked me, well, how's your day going so far today? Well, you can't do that with me because I'm gonna tell you, I was having a great time while I was at home with my dog. I was writing, I was being creative. I had all these ideas that were moving through me. And now I feel like I'm trapped. And they started saying, well, you, you only have to be here till 10 p.m. Well, you can't say that to me. <laughs> 
because 10 p.m. in my soul is a completely different time period and place in the world. And I wanted to look at this person and say, you're going home in five minutes. What the hell do you know about 10 p.m. and what it's going to take to get to 10 p.m.? Those are the things where I need to say to myself, what did I do in my past that gave me positive energy when I was feeling as negative as I was? What you're doing in your now is for a future person to learn from so they can use it. Now, this particular co-worker that I was talking with, he did hear my voice. We did go into a deep discussion. And I'm sure by the time I get to that essential job today, the other managers will know of my feelings. And, and they'll look at me and they'll think, oh, well, this is who he is. When in fact, who I am is not what I was displaying yesterday. But what I did in that moment of now has an impact on what is happening in the now. Do you understand? When you time travel like that, when you put yourself in a position of understanding how you act and react is going to have weight in someone else's life in the future. They won't be living in the past. By the time they receive the word of what you did in your now, they're going to use it as a tool or a weapon against you in what is the presence of now. Oh, I was once known as the overachiever in being positive. But in being that overachiever, sadly, people didn't believe me. They thought I was faking it. I had one guy, I was at a lecture, and I was really selling how beautiful broadcasting is. And he stood up and interrupted me. He says, what are you trying to sell me here? Because you sound like you're a salesperson. You sound like I have to buy into this. And if I don't buy into it, I'm not going to have success in this industry. My answer back was, I'm sorry that I feel like that I'm positive about this. I do believe in why I'm here and why I'm sharing this with you. I do believe in the successful career that I've had. I'm very positive about it. But if you want me to go down those dark trails to tell you about the negatives of what it's like to be a broadcaster, I want you to do it on your time. Don't do it on the time that others are sharing with you right now. What you do in your now is going to be a tool for somebody in the future, be it you or someone else, taking from your past and using it in their present. Ask the questions, question the answers. That's defragging. Put it on a sheet of paper or, or do a vocal defrag so you can go back and listen to your inflection. I'm Errol, and that's Vocal Defrag.